In this video, we're going to address the question that you have on how to create portfolios or galleries for each artist that customers can get to by clicking their image on artist page. I want a drop down menu from the artist option on the home page that lists the, all the artists. Now, this is going to be a little bit different, uh, but essentially what we're going to do is we're going to go to your website, and here you can see that if we go to the home page, you have the artist page but no drop down currently. If we click on the artist page, it brings us to a portfolio page of images, but not the actual artists. But if we click on it, it will bring us to the images and not to a portfolio page. We want to change that, I believe, is what you want. But first off, let's get the artists into the drop-down menu. Now, in order to do that, we have to go into Appearance and Menus, and here we are in the menu options. However, it doesn't give us the options for any portfolio pages to be added. Now, if we actually click on Portfolio Items, you're going to see that it brings us to a list of all the artists that you added for the portfolios. Now, each of these are going to have their specific pages. So if we click on the actual page itself to edit it, you can see that there is the gallery ID that you've created. If you want, you can add content about the artist here, and this is where I would recommend to put the information. Don't forget to click Update when you're finished. But you're going to see the link right here that you want to grab. So for this artist, we're going to grab this link, copy it, and inside menus, in the custom links, you're going to put in that information, and the label is going to be their name. So we grab their name, put that in there, add to menu, and then drag that underneath artists. Now this way, we can actually save item and if we go back to your website, and you now have a drop down with that person's information. If you click on it, you're going to see this is their portfolio page. So the information that you can type about them will show up above the image or below, depending on where you position it above or below on this page right here. Now, for the next one, again, we do the same thing. We click on Mia Weinberg, the next person's name. We're going to copy the link that's there. Go into menus, add the custom link, add the name, add to menu, drag it underneath the next one, and click save. And then we can do another one. So this one we grab the link. We add it to the custom URL, grab the username, put in labels, add to menu, and drag it and drop it underneath there, save it. And if we go and refresh your page, you now have those names underneath the artists. Now, obviously, you're going to want to fill out the information on that page, but that's how you can create your artist pages, where you can add in galleries as well. Now if you don't remember how to add your gallery, if we go back into Andrea, basically all you're doing is clicking the Add Media button, Upload Files, and you can select multiple files like this if you want, and you can add them into a post. And if you have more than one selected, uh, I actually believe now with the new features you click create gallery yeah there you go so click create gallery and that's going to give you the option to choose however many images you want to add and then what you want to fill out is the title the caption so who's photographer who the photographer is and then the alt text so usually keep that the same as the title and then you click create new uh, gallery and then it'll show up like this and you click update Now, in order to get the actual portfolio to show up, like how you're wanting it on the artist page, where they're all listed like this, um, I'm not 100% sure on how to do that with this exact design. I'll take a look into it, but it might end up being that you just want to have uh, the images here and the actual artist pages listed down here as such, so that these are just going to be the images themselves, and then people can find the artist underneath the drop down. If you have any other questions, let me know.